police in unless you're too busy detecting detectives. Well, I wasn't sure if we're back together like before, because then I'll bring over subs for lunch. Or are we starting from square one? Because then I will text you and ask you out and nervously watch the dot dot dots for your response. Bring the subs. <laughs> See you then. Something is wrong. Is your sister home? <laughs> and, and then Green Goo, and the only reason I got away was because this group of drunk guys showed up and you scared me. Sorry. You were in bed when my alarm went off, and I'm a detective. I have to investigate. Did you not hear me say a demon dog? It's a rodeo initiation thing. <laughs> Nico! You spent the night? See, I told you we weren't that loud. There's no evidence of foul play. Because you're not looking. Mel, your mother's death was a horrible accident, and she'd been drinking. Yeah, I know what's on the report. You seem like you're unraveling. But good thing I'm not your problem anymore. I still care about you. Then dumping me after my mom died was an interesting choice. That's not fair. And I am sorry about what I said about you ending things after my mom died. I know I shut you out. I slept with Greta last week. Your ex-fiance? Twice. You were just so angry. Yeah. Every law enforcement officer in Hilltown is in danger now. Demonic activity is increased. I feel really guilty about it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, she wouldn't even be in Hilltown if it weren't for me. She was your fiance. You were still together when we met. And I left her for you. What? She was stationed in Lakeview. She transferred here for me. Well, everything's okay. Case closed. Have you been up here all night? I couldn't sleep, so I started going through some of Mom's old papers. Oh. So that kind of coffee date? No, it's an I'm worried about you coffee date. Please tell me you're not back to obsessing over her death. That's not what this is. I promise. What? What are you doing here? I was worried. You just ran out. It's for a class. I just don't want anything to come between us again. Trust me. Nothing ever will. I feel like you're hiding something. Because I am. Sorry, I didn't know. It's not your fault. She almost busted me with the Book of Shadows, too. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to keep this from her. What would... All right. I am a demon hunting witch who is supposed to save the world. And all I want to do is tell you, but I can't. Well, what other kind of magic can a witch like you do? This one time, I manifested a sonic boom that blew up a bone demon. That is an oddly specific fantasy, but I'm so down. You do know. You can never tell her. Of course I know that. What do you think I'm freezing time to have an honest conversation with her? I'm sensing a bit of cynicism. Yet another one of your astonishing powers. Look, I know these methods may seem harsh. Harsh? I can't even have a conversation with my girlfriend without you showing up to berate me. I'm not gonna tell Nico. For now. Don't shush me! Did you not hear me say a demon dog? It's a rodeo initiation thing. There may be a way to fix mom's sewing machine. I'll check. Hey, guys. What are you doing wearing my trench coat? What are you doing? Ditching work. Oh, Nico, you are just the person I, I wanted to see. Just bring back the handcuffs for later. I have never wanted anyone more than I want you right now. I guess I got you under my spell. Oh, is that what this is? I mean, if someone just showed up at your house claiming to be your sister, would you believe them? No. I need to breathe. Okay. But I know Nico. And she would never help people like that. Whoever they were, they must have duped her, posing as your parents. And I'll talk to you later. Okay. I'm sorry, but she's hiding something. They all are. Feel it. Trip, Mel did not kidnap Angela Wu. Okay, that's absurd. Come on, you saw how jumpy she was. So just clarify. XX or you and Nico back together? Priorities. Shh. Guess what? Nico slept with Greta twice. 
with that socks book. Okay, I'm just really nervous. You're the one who can't look Nico in the eyes. But she's right. It's weird. If you think of anything else... We will definitely be in touch. Oh, and keep an eye on your girlfriend. The detective? She and her partner were certainly curious. We cannot have them sniffing around. You're supposed to be keeping an eye on Nico. Make sure she's not suspicious. It can wait. Her soul is still alive. She's just trapped inside. This is what you've been up to. I told you to keep an eye on your girlfriend. This is my fault. You told me to talk to Nico. I could have kept him away. You couldn't have known this would happen. I was up late last night with Nico. How is she? I mean, not only is her partner dead, but thanks to the elders, everyone thinks he's a serial killer. Well, where's Nico? Is she okay? She's fine. For now. So, if you're not sleeping with Nico, then why'd you come home with sex here? What? What are you doing here? I was worried. Hey, who's hungry for a spicy Italian grinder? Oh god, Nico, okay. Hi, Maggie. Hi, you must Hi. be Macy. Oh my god, Nico. Hi. It's Nico. It's trip. Not a great time for a visit from the local law enforcement. I have to get back to the station. Well, that's all right. You're leaving, aren't you? It's bad now. Three bodies turned up on campus. Really? That's it. Fishing. What? I've been racking my brain trying to figure out where Tripp may have hidden this evidence. And earlier today, a nun was found dead at campus ministry. I gotta go. I'm sorry. He has a fishing cabin above Grey Hills Lake. I, he took me there once. The FBI wouldn't know to search there. <laughs> My own partner, I thought I knew him. I can't believe it. He was my friend. <laughs> Mel, there's something I haven't told you about Tripp and your mom's death. What? Before he died, Tripp left me this weird voicemail. He said he had found a link between your mom's death and the deaths of two other women. I'm allowed to have feelings about this. I think that you should just let this go. Just leave it alone. Are you serious? Well, your version of feelings usually means shutting me out completely. This is what you wanted. But I just feel like I've moved past my mom's death. But don't you want the truth? I can't do that again, Mel. Just let it go. I love you, but I won't do that again. The last thing I wish to do is put up barriers between you and the woman you're dating. You need to stop living in the past. I know it's hard, but just forget you ever heard about Nico and Greta. You saw. I saw. She kissed me first. Yeah, it really seems like you were fighting her off, Mel. I know. And this war against evil is no longer at our doorstep. I will help you get permission to tell her. Okay. It was incredible. Okay. Well, see you then. Clearly, you're still in love with her. And I mean, you already broke up her and Greta once before. See? You should always listen to my advice about Nico from now on. I'm, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Is everything okay? More sisters, more drama. So are you gonna tell me why you came to see Angela Wu? She woke up from a coma. I wanted to see how she was doing. This has nothing to do with mom. I'm so sorry, Mom. We might be dealing with a shapeshifter. That's extra bad. They're a powerful class of demons that can mimic the forms of anyone they've touched and are known for getting what they want. What did you see in that? The fire. Harry, I couldn't freeze it. You couldn't? And it was also this weird green color. This shifter appears to want its Nico dead and whatever was in that cabin destroyed. And it's already succeeded in one of those tasks. Not necessarily. I put her in this danger. You had no idea things would turn out this way. Now it's like she'd be better off if we never... It's a powerful history rewriting spell. It requires the power of three. We'd be changing the past to make it as if Nico and I never met. What? Hey, I gotta go. I asked the chief to come up to the cabin with me, see if anything's salvageable. No, why would you do that? It's the only way I can be sure she's safe. I know you think it's crazy. Nico, just give me a minute. No, please don't try to talk me out of this. The only beings on Earth who will remember the way things were before the four of us. I have to go. <laughs> Please, just stop. I know first time that this kind of spell comes at a huge cost. You all 
need to be absolutely sure before you do this. I am so sorry that I have to do this and go. But I can't protect you. This is the only way. You'll also lose any pictures, texts, keepsakes, every trace of your relationship with Nico will disappear. Mel, are you sure you want to do this? Either I give her up or I lose her. I have to. Why is she wearing those fake glasses again? At least she looks happy. I think. Hi, sunshine. You've been asleep all day. Oh, the light. I miss Nico. I miss her so much. You're dropping out? Why? I lost everything. Hey, she's safe. That's what you wanted. I know. Okay, we know you're still hurting over Nico, but you can't stay moping in bed forever. It's time to shower. Oh, Mel. I can feel how sad you are. Mom, Nico, my job. And I guess it gave me clarity on what wasn't working in my life. Welcome to Aptitude. Ready to find your perfect... Thanks, but I'm still getting over my ex. I keep thinking, where is she? What if I run into her? Unlikely. She would never have moved here, right? Rewriting history. It sounds complicated. There will be ripple effects and other unintended consequences that simply cannot be foreseen. Someone's teaching my class. Oh, unintended. Consequences. Okay, that's enough. You need to get some fresh air. It smells like old gym socks in here. Yeah, look, you're not gonna crack this clue tonight, so... My interview. I always set through my alarm, and Nico woke me up. Congratulations. To getting Mel out of the house. Yes. Oh, your shirt is on inside out. I showered. That was your only requirement. I missed my interview. I never got this job. I don't want to feel anything. I know. But you have to. I wore this the day we met. And it's like I don't want to take it off because then it's real. You can't push your feelings away. Trust me. <laughs> She's gone. And that's why I haven't wanted to look for a new job. Only when I let myself grieve me, though. I can finally let her go. Then I'm really starting a new life without her. It's just so hard. I know. Yeah, it's hard to let go. You want to get out of here? Mm-hmm. Hey, glass of Pinot Grige. Hi, Mel. I'm Nico. Nico looked good. Happy, even. How do you know my name? You work here, right? I've seen you around. She didn't recognize you at all? I'm off tonight, but yes. Yeah. And, and you, do you live in town? Uh, just say I'm here on business. It reminded me that sometimes we lie to protect people, and that doesn't mean that we don't love them. I'm choosing to believe that that's what Mom did. So not to kill the mood or anything, but why is your ex-girlfriend working with witch hunters? With what? Their names are Jennifer and Jerry Finch Jr., adopted children of real estate mogul Gerald Finch. I don't know how a background check didn't flag this when I took the case, but this is on me. This must be it. The important thing is to remain unnoticed until something... <gasps> <sighs> you okay? Mm -hmm. Who's that chick you were talking to? She's nobody. That woman from the bar, she's not nobody. She's my ex. Nico has no clue that she and I ever dated. You eternal sunshine. <laughs> the PI is your ex? She wasn't a PI when I knew her. Well, we all got a pass. Your detective ex called to tell me my parents wanted to meet up. There was a demon. And he would have stopped at nothing to kill her. And my only choice was to make it so that she and I never met. A history rewriting spell. Mel, I know I'm a complete stranger, but you may also be at risk. If Jade is trying to get you to be a part of this group, she's not. And I'm fine. Thanks for meeting me. It's a brave first step extricating yourself from a dangerous group.
so sorry. But I promise you, Mel, I will get your sister out of there. Are you all right? I went to a wedding once the day after a breakup. It's not fun. Oh, no, I'm fine. Yeah. You remember I like extra pickles? Yeah, it hasn't been that long. It's been too long for me. What can I get for you? Two double espressos. Got it. How did you know? <laughs> hey, I got you a little present. Just something to let you know how happy I am we're back together. <gasps> no. Ah, oh, I love The Cure. The 1987 first pressing <laughs> of The Cure's Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me still in the plastic? Best, Best album, album ever. ever. Yeah. I have it on vinyl too. I'm making Earl Grey. Anyone want some? Sure. Thanks, honey. You hate Earl Grey. What? A glass of Pinot Gris? You know my order by now. Your girl can handle herself. She's not my girl. Best album ever. <laughs> the cure was kind of her thing. Nico, babe, time for toasts. Break a leg. Thank you. I hate public speaking. I know. I made the change two years ago. I was a cop. Really? Do you remember how I told you I changed careers two years ago? Yeah, well, that was sugarcoating it. Yeah, on the verge of making detective. But, I don't know, one day I just woke up and felt like something was missing. I kind of had a nervous breakdown, I guess you'd say. It's hard to explain. You know the feeling? Yeah, you know, I had this great job but something didn't feel right. You're getting married? Oh, yeah, later this spring. Could you just toss us in the back for me? Hi. You must be Mel. Rada. Yeah, that's soon. Congrats. Yeah, c congratulations. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Heard so much about you. Same. Nico's engaged, and she knows I'm with Jada. I'm at work. I don't need you showing up to interrogate me. That's not why I'm here. But she's also investigating this Rikana, so she's digging into something. It's better if I know about it. Mm-hmm. Greta and I rented out the place for our bachelorette party. We're just picking out the menu. Oh. I have to work Nico and Greta's bachelorette party tomorrow. Oh, right. Sorry. It's friggin' awful. If you hear or see anything strange, if you ever feel unsafe, give me a call. Okay. Help me. This is Scarlett. Mel, thanks for coming. Scarlett, can you tell Mel what you told us? Um, it's all such a blur. I saw Scarlett at the grocery store last week with a group of other women. They were all glassy-eyed, like they'd been drugged. I feel for her, but I'm sorry, why am I here? I'm wondering if the cult she escaped from is affiliated with this arcana. Mel, do you know what this place is? Uh, it's the cult that took Scarlet. No! I saw their van on a neighbor's surveillance camera and pulled a partial plate. It's registered to this address. We need to talk. Nico, you scared me. Why so jumpy? No reason, I'm just at work. Now oh, it's Nico. Do you mind? Go ahead. Is this really necessary? You're not returning my calls. You shouldn't be following me. So once we track this Tessa down, what's next? What's next is I say thanks and you go back to your life. Oh, come on. Mel, it's been my job to investigate cults and help get people out of them. I know the Sarkana weren't a cult, but what happened to them? You have to tell me. I'm serious. The next phase of this plan is too, too dangerous to involve you. Oh, really? Because I just got a hit. I'll let you see if I can come along. Hey, over here. I bumped into Nico at the haunt the other day. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. Sorry I'm late. How did you pick this place? I don't know, I was just walking by the other day and something about it just drew me in. Are there any buildings that you feel drawn to? Nico mentioned at coffee that she felt like she'd been to the cafe before. Wait, coffee? Why, have you been here before? 
yeah. You said you saw her at the haunt. I did. First. But the point is, look around, see if you feel drawn to anything. It's Nico wondering if we can talk. You're supposed to let her go. No! Come on! Whoa. That scar, how'd you get it? The Sarkana are not a cult. Yeah, so you said, but you haven't explained exactly what it is. Sorry. I just had the most vivid sense of deja vu. We're a women's empowerment group. And we don't want anybody who doesn't want to be there. What happened? Four of them took Scarlet. They had these animalistic blue eyes. Maybe from whatever drugs they were on? I don't think so. Up close they were like, glowing. And I could have sworn Scarlet was levitating. I mean, that sounds- Crazy. I know. Crazy, like that warehouse a few weeks ago when we showed up to take the finches down, but they were already tied up and ready to confess. That was just really lucky. Yeah, unbelievably lucky. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I, uh... uh our sister is missing and we, we tracked the GPS on her phone. Oh, God. So, where's your tattoo? It was temporary. The cult leader seems to have vanished. Hmm. Something weird's going on here. You always seem to be right at the center of it. Don't look at me. I'm the last person who can explain this. Uh-huh. You should put some cream on that. You wouldn't want it to scar. Have you been to the Sarkana lately? I'm not really a member anymore. Uh, Jada and I broke up. Oh. Are you absolutely certain the Sarkana aren't involved in this? I've only been in the Sarkana for a few months. This quite excited <laughs> We'd like to stop. I heard that voice again. All right, let's go. We'll figure out if the voices are from a demon or a ghost or whatever it is. Mel, this place has been ransacked. What's really going on? I don't know. I told you I'm not a Sarkana anymore. I don't believe you. I overheard you at my bachelorette party talking about demons and ghosts. I've been... Why do you ask? No, I've just been quiet lately. I considered going over to check everything out in person, but maybe everything would be magically wrapped up. Why should I trust you? Tell me the truth. You're hiding something from me. There's a lot I don't know, but I'll look into it. Is this a coven? I will tell you everything. But right now, you have to go. No, no way. I, I want to know what all this means. Nico, look around. Whatever was here may come back. I need you to go. Now. Okay, but this isn't over. But don't you want the truth? Not if it means putting you in danger. Just let it go. I know things got weird last night. I get it. It's sweet you're worried about my safety. Exactly, and I want to be here for you right now. But if this demon wants her dead, does it matter? How can we protect her? I don't know. They agreed to another meeting, but Jada, I'm gonna need you there to help me draw them out. Won't that be dangerous? I already brought in local PD, so as soon as we make contact, they'll move in and make the arrest. I'm sorry I left you hanging. Things are getting really bad. Your life must be complicated. It is. What? What was your boss talking about? Don't worry about it. All that matters is that you're okay. Send her in there with witch hunters. Relax, Mel. And it's always, always dangerous, but especially now. Which is why you and I can't hang out anymore. Fine. But I'm going with you. Okay. Please stop asking questions. Take care of yourself. You're right. And I'm not going to anymore. I brought this for you. What is it? This ring will protect you from all magic. Mel? How does it work? Watch. I'm a witch. Oh my god. Did you just do a spell? Why do I feel like you're hiding something? 
Because I am. You were a little to the left. Okay, come on. And if anything happens in there, is that? I've been in multiple situations with you where reality feels altered somehow. But now that I know magic is real, I can't help but feel that there's some sort of supernatural explanation for all of it. By you! Keep your voice in town. Have you ever frozen me? Wait, of course you have. This makes so much sense. I can't believe it. Trust me, Mel. I will keep your girlfriend safe. I know it's hard. You shouldn't be following me. It's dangerous. I went back to that tattoo parlor. Everything that was ransacked was magically cleaned up. Tessa Flores Cohen. She's a resident advisor on West Campus Hall 7. <laughs> it was like the Sarkana never existed. So the elders cleaned it up. Who? Nico is helping me find Tessa. She is. Oh, is that a magical compass? Yes, it is. Oh my god. Tessa's dead? Yeah. What letters do you have covers? What? Um, I'll explain on the way. Your sisters are witches too? How did I not think of that? Sorry, sorry. Just... So I could try to figure out what happened to me without getting, you know, stomped by Bigfoot? Yeah. One big happy coven, now you know. By the way, we try to keep it under wraps. Speaking of, as far as I know, Bigfoot is not real. And it's pointing to... What the hell? Me. Nothing yet. I'm still waiting to hear back from my Hilltown PD contact to see if his facial recognition software has located Tessa. Yeah, Mel and I, we, we found these incoming phone calls on an app, but we don't know how to reverse hack them to find out where the calls originated. Look, I know I'm just a human, but I also happen to be a kick-ass PI. If you need to track someone down, I can help. That's not what hacking is. See? You already know so much more than us. What are you doing? Thank you so much. He was himself. He was Parker. We have that address from Nico. The one she got when she was tracing those video calls from Lucy's cell. It's not working. Are you sure about this? Yes, I saw Nico do it once. Who taught you to pick a lock? This cop I used to know? Oh my god, you just... You pressed pause on life! What's an unshackling spell? You know, I could just take off all my clothes right now and all these people would have no idea. You could. <laughs> Talk about this stuff out loud. Nobody's paying attention. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wait, what? I love you so much. And also, you're the worst driver I've ever known. I love you, but I won't do that again. Love you too. And now I see how unhappy you are with Greta, and I love you. You must have really loved her. I did. A few months ago, I erased your memory because a demon was after you. The end of the world is basically right around the corner. Maybe Nico deserves to know the truth before it's too late. Did I rewrote her entire history? The thing is, I think something happened to me two years ago. Some sort of trauma changed who I was supposed to be. So I rewrote history so that you and I never met. Without her consent? I can't. Are you sure? No. That shift, that trauma that you keep talking about that happened to you two years ago? Stop. But knowing about magic is a path to try to find out. You're not God, Mel! Do you even know what the hell I went through? I thought I was losing my mind. No matter how dangerous it is. But I did it to save you. No. You did it for yourself! So you could sleep better at night. She looks different from other patients. She's not bleeding from her eyes or ears. 
or whatever she has, it's resistant to my healing powers. According to this, a CT scan revealed swelling in both the hippocampus and amygdala. Well, those are both areas of the brain associated with memory. Wait, I have an idea. It's like her memories are flooding her brain or something. Hey, Mel. Yeah? We were together, and you left Greta for me because you were unhappy. Nothing. I'm just so happy. And then we, we were happy. Me too. <laughs> I thought you were gonna keep that on for protection. Uh, it got too complicated. Did Greta ask about it? And I obviously can't tell her what it's really for, or why you and I have been spending so much time together. The wedding's in two days, and she point blank asked me this morning if I have feelings for you. What the hell are you doing here? Greta, hey, um, we just wanted to see how she was. Yeah, well, only close friends and family are permitted, so... Excuse me. No, no, no. How did... Nico's infected. Greta took off her ring. No. Mel, her eyes were totally bloodshot, and they were restraining her. What did you say? When Greta and I got back together two years ago, it was right after my whole breakdown. I needed someone. She's always wondered if the only reason we're together is just because she happened to be there. What do you think? I think that I'm about to get married and all I can think about is you. We saw what you did when you tried to mess with the cosmic balance, taking away people's choices. What I did to Nico was just as bad. I owe it to her to let her go. Sorry, Mel. At least I have you guys. Yeah. See you at home. <laughs>